Hello? Excuse me. You're sleeping in my parking spot? So would you hurry it along, please? My apologies, ma'am. It rained last night and, and I'm still cold and wet. I'm just trying to clear my head okay, so okay. I can... I really don't care about your sob story. Get out of my parking spot! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... This city is going down the trash hole. Ma'am, is there any way you can spare a dollar so I can get something to eat? Are you seriously asking me for a dollar? It's just I haven't eaten in two days. I, I don't know. I thought it was worth a shot. A shot? I, I... You know what? Why don't you get a job? Give it a shot. J-O-B. You ever tried that before? My mother got sick and I had to quit my job because there was no one else to take care of her. So I had to take care of her and, okay. and now I lost what my I... job and I lost my mother. So I'm supposed to feel bad for you because your mother died? How do I even know if you're telling me the truth? Even if she were dead, why should I feel bad? I'm sorry, ma'am. I was just trying to explain my situation. Maybe you could go inside of your office and see if there's any leftovers from your company's kitchen. Maybe you can bring them out for me to eat uh, something. So you want me to take food out of the kitchen in my office and bring it out to you? Are you kidding me? Look, I am never gonna be out of a job and I'm never gonna be homeless. So you're on your own, okay? Bye. Oh, good morning, Karen. I hope you had a great weekend. Oh, I don't have time for a chat. I am hungry. Did you get that breakfast I asked you to pick up? Right, yes. Um, well, I was gonna tell you actually that your favorite coffee shop is closed on Mondays, but I did go to Starbucks and I got you your uh, favorite. Yeah, uh, you went to Starbucks. You think there's a one in a million chance I'd even eat that junk? Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. I was just trying to get your call. Okay, you know what? One more word, and I'm going to have you fired faster than you can say, Starbucks. Got that? Hey, Karen. How's it going? Oh, hey. Honestly, Jim, I've had a really rough morning, and I've got so much work to get done. Can we save the pleasantries till later? Uh, sure. Um, well, just so you know, the CEO is actually here. He's requesting to see you. He's in the conference room waiting, so. Wait, what? Why didn't anyone tell me the CEO was coming by? I, I, I don't know, I don't think anybody knew he was coming. He kind of just popped in. I guess he likes to check in on local branches to see how things are running, so. Well, I hate surprises, but I give it my best. Okay, cool, I'll let him know. Okay. Mr. Franklin, I wanted to say what an honor it is to finally. Karen, please come in and have a seat. Okay, what's going on? Aren't you... Homeless? Oh, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Okay, but you were just out in my parking spot, sleeping, and you were wearing ratty clothes. Is this some kind of prank or something? Am I gonna be on one of those television shows? Unfortunately, you're not. So, what is going on? Are you really the CEO? Because if you're not, I have security in this building and I will be calling them unless I start getting some answers. Okay, Karen, just settle down. I'll explain, okay? Five years ago, before I started this company, I had a job that I had to leave to take care of my sick mother. But when she passed away, I became homeless for six months and no one would even look at me. Oh my. But with the help of a local church, I was able to get back on my feet and at the local library, I was able to have access to a computer. And with that computer, I was able to build Franklin Technologies to the company that it is today. Ah, I didn't know that and I don't know what to say. But why were you pretending like you were homeless then? Well, because even though I'm a successful businessman now, I haven't forgotten where I came from. And so I like to go around to the different branches every year to test my managers. Oh, so. You were testing me. That's right, Karen. And unfortunately, you failed. And you know what? It would have been bad enough if you just ignored me. But by berating me and judging me when you thought I was homeless, that's not in line with this company's values. So what? What are you gonna do? Unfortunately, Karen, I'm gonna have to fire you. Your behavior is unacceptable for this company. Fire me? You can't do that. I mean, okay. So who are you gonna find to replace me, hmm? Well, I spoke with your assistant, Jill, earlier this morning, and she seems to be more than willing for the job. Jill? You're replacing me with Jill? Oh, good luck with that, buddy. Good luck to you too, Karen. 
If you could just get your stuff and please leave the premises before I call security, that would be great. Whatever. You know what, this company is going down the toilet anyhow. Karen, a word of advice. In your next job interview, you might want to have a better attitude. Oh, shove it.